Final farewell to Prince Philip, her husband, for more than seven decades at a ceremonial funeral later this afternoon. It will be a private affair with only 30 members of the royal family making up the congregation. The Duke's coffin will be driven to the funeral at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle on a special modified Land Rover. And Prince Charles, heir to the throne, and Philip's other three children, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward, will walk behind in procession along with Prince. Prince William and Prince Harry and their cousin Peter Phillips. Our UK correspondent Laura Mekin Aishawood is at Windsor Castle and joins us now. A good afternoon to you and thank you so much uh, for being on standby to give us an update now. Uh, how are the proceedings uh, building up? Well, we're now around two hours away from the funeral service itself, but things have already been starting in, in terms of uh, ceremony at Windsor Castle. Prince Philip's coffin has been moved now from a private chapel within the grounds of Windsor Castle to an inner uh, hall within the castle itself. It's draped with the Duke of Edinburgh's personal standard, his sword, his Royal Navy cap placed on top, and now it's waiting for another hour or so until a procession will then begin throughout the grounds of Windsor the castle. The coffin, as you say, will be moved onto a specially modified Land Rover that Prince Philip himself had a hand in designing. He worked with uh, the bosses of Land Rover to create this uh, vehicle since 2003, so nearly two decades worth of work has gone into this. Uh, that vehicle will move along the procession route, which will be lined by members of the military. Uh, lots of representations there from regiments, battalions that Prince Philip was associated with uh, throughout his, uh, his life. And it will be followed, as you say, by members of the royal family and eventually the Queen, who we understand will be following on in a car. Uh, a national minute silence will be observed before the start of the ceremony at 3 p.m. here, so 2 p.m. Uh, in South Africa. And then that ceremony itself will be private but televised so that the nation can watch uh, along as uh, the, the service continues. When we spoke last week, uh, there, there was some curiosity from members of the public who were told not to come anywhere closer to the castle and we saw many coming to lay flowers there as they bade farewell to uh, the... I mean, like, uh, right now we just want to get an understanding of uh, that level of curiosity. Are people really uh, cooperating with the plea that they shouldn't come any closer? Well, it seems there are people in Windsor at the moment. Uh, there's definitely people walking up and down this street along the hill that leads up to the castle, the main gate. Uh, there's people there sort of sitting on benches and waiting. There's obviously a large media presence here, but in terms of crowds gathering, there's none of those yet. And there is an increased police pres presence uh, along rows surrounding Windsor itself. Uh, so I imagine people will be kind of encouraged not to gather. Uh, I can't say for sure whether or not they'd be moved along, but definitely the feeling here is that people are being advised to stay away and that advice is continuing to be given. All right, uh, we shall continue to cover this blow by blow as we speak to you throughout the afternoon. But for now, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much. There's Laura Mekin. Asha would come to us live uh, from the uh, Windsor Castle and uh, she's uh, keeping us up to date uh, with what's happening there. So in the meantime, uh, in another...